here in the i button and the description box below you will get complete playlist of for your cities welcome to video number 18 and in this video we are going to solve first problem on the topic that is uh, half range series okay very important problem so before i start this video i would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from my videos then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of uh, for your series with your friends in this way only you can support me so let us start solving this problem the question says find the Fourier half range cosine series of the function okay f of t equals to 2t when the limit of t is from 0 to 1 and f of t becomes 2 into 2 minus t when the limit of t is from 1 to 2 okay very good question here it is written that is half range cosine series it means we need to find a naught and a n okay yes so the required Fourier half range cosine series is given by f of t equals to a naught upon 2 remember one thing this is not function of x this is function of t okay so a naught upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n into cos n pi t upon b minus a okay n pi t upon b minus a and here yes if you want to find what is b what is a a is the lowest limit and a is the highest limit sorry a is the lowest limit and b is the highest limit so b equals to 2 and a equals to 0 so if you want to find what is b minus a okay what if you want to know what is b minus a so it is 2 minus 0 that is 2 okay so f of t f of t becomes a naught upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n 2 okay if you put here 2 then it will be cos of n pi t upon 2 and this is supposed to be my equation bar 1 okay now we need to find what is the value of a naught and what is the value of a n okay yes one by one we will be we will be solving okay yes so the formula for a naught is 2 upon b minus a integration a to b f of t dt okay yes and the value of b minus a is how much 2 so 2 upon 2 here we can write that is integration for limit you can see for limit 1 to 2 for limit 1 to sorry 0 to 1 the function f of t is 2t for the limit 1 to 2 the function f of t is 2 into 2 minus t we can write this as 4 minus 2t okay if you open this bracket you can write this as 4 minus 2t okay yes here we go okay so here for the limit that is 1 0 to 1 okay integration for the limit 0 to 1 the function f of t is 2t okay dt plus integration yes here the limit is 1 to 2 for limit 1 to 2 the function f of t is 2 into 2 minus t okay yes now 2 upon 2 is 1 okay simply solve this part that is taking here 2 common okay we can write here 2 integration t into dt okay limit is from 0 to 1 now if you see in this part we can uh, ha we have two different terms okay that is 4 minus 2t okay so 4 into dt minus 2t into t okay we can write here 2 limit is from 1 to 2 okay now yes here we have 2 integration of t with respect to t will become t square upon 2 okay integration of t with respect to t is t square upon 2 uh, limit is from 0 to 1 now come here 4 is as it is integration of dt is t limit is from 1 to 2 now come here minus 2 as it is t will become integration of t will become t square upon 2 okay limit is from 1 to 2 now here 2 2 gets cancelled 2 2 gets cancelled okay so what is left if you put 1 here it is 1 if you put 0 it is 0 okay so here we have 1 minus 0 here 4 is taken common here put 2 put 1 that is 2 minus 1 okay here again here we have negative sign yes put 2 here this will become 4 if you put 1 here this will become 1 so this is 1 this is again 4 into 1 that is 4 here we have 4 minus of this is what 3 so here we have 1 here we have how much 4 and here we have how much that is um, minus 3 okay yes so add this you will get 5 5 minus 3 that is how much 2 so you will get a naught equals to how much 2 okay so after finding the value of a naught we will find a n okay a n equals to 2 upon b minus a integration a to b f of t cos of n pi t upon b minus a dt okay yes b minus a value is how much 2 okay so 2 upon 2 fine here the um, uh, integration 0 to 1 when the limit is from 0 to 1 f of t is how much 2t okay so 2t into cos of n pi t upon b minus a and the value of b minus a is 2 so cos of n pi t upon 2 dt plus integration 
1 to 2 when the limit limit is from 1 to 2 in that case the function is 2 into 2 minus t okay if you open this bracket you can write this as 4 minus 2 t into cos of n by t upon 2 dt okay now we will solve okay we will solve this integration one by one by the help of chain rule okay yes if you see in this part yes 2 2 gets cancelled okay so if you see in this part we can take this two here okay now this is my first function this is my second function as for as per i late rule this is algebraic form this is trigonometric form okay yes this is my first function this is my second function so what we need to do is yes writing first function as it is second function integration of second function okay let us see yes here you can see you have taken two here so first function as it is integration of second function that is integration of cos will become sine so sine n pi t upon 2 upon coefficient of t that is n pi upon 2 okay then minus first term positive second term negative differentiation of t that is 1 integration of second function that is sine will become minus cos integration of sine will become minus cos so minus cos n pi t upon 2 upon n pi upon 2 into n pi upon 2 that is n square pi square upon 4 okay the limit is from 0 to 1 now we'll see what is the second part or you can say second term yes the second term the limit is from 1 to 2 and first function is 4 minus 2t and second function this okay so first function integration second function minus differentiation first function okay so integration second function let's see yes 4 minus 2t is my first function as it is integration second function that is integration of cos will become sine so sine n pi t upon 2 upon um, coefficient of t that is n pi upon 2 okay now first function positive second fun uh, first term positive second term negative so it is minus of differentiation first uh, first function that is minus 2 okay now integration second function that is sine will become minus cos okay so cos of n pi t upon 2 upon n pi upon 2 into n pi upon 2 that is n square pi square upon 4 limit is from 1 to 2 okay yes now this 2 is as it is okay now this 2 will be here that is 2t upon n pi 2t upon n pi here now this can be written as sine of n pi t upon 2 as it is okay now here yes negative negative positive okay this 4 will come here that is 4 upon n square pi square okay now this is cos of n pi t upon 2 as it is the limit is from 0 to 1 similarly come to second part okay yes here you can see we have 4 minus 2t okay and here we have 2 so 2 into 4 minus 2t okay 2 into 4 minus 2t upon n pi this is as it is that is sine of n pi t upon 2 okay negative 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 that is negative here we have 4 here we have 2 that is 8 upon n square pi square okay this is cos n pi t upon 2 okay limit is from 0 1 to 2 okay now we will solve yes or you can say we will put limits now we will start putting limits okay yes 2 is as it is okay here you can see 2 is as it is now if you put upper limit okay that is 1 in place of t this is going to be 2 upon n pi okay sine of n pi upon 2 okay now if you put lower limit here this will become 0 because of this t if you put here 0 this will become 0 okay so upper limit positive lower limit is negative fine i will come to the second term okay if you put upper limit here this is as it is that is 4 upon n square pi square as it is yes cos of n pi upon 2 because t is how much 1 okay yes if you put lower limit upper limit positive lower limit is negative that is 4 upon n square pi square is as it is if you put lower limit this will become cos 0 okay so this part is over now we'll come to the second part okay yes so this two is for this so simply close the bracket okay now i'll come to the second part if you put the upper limit here okay upper limit here so 2 into 2 will become 4 so 4 minus 4 will become 0 so this whole term will become 0 okay upper limit whole term is 0 okay now come to the lower limit that is 1 if you put here 1 so 4 minus 2 that is 2 2 into 2 that is 4 okay 4 upon n pi into sine of n pi upon 2 because t is how much 1 okay in the lower limit if you put t equals to 1 this will become sine of n pi upon 2 okay upper limit positive lower limit negative now we'll come to the second part of the uh, second term of the second part okay yes upper limit negative here okay upper limit is negative here remember so 8 upon n square pi square as it is if you put here 2 this 2 2 will cancel 
you are left with cos of n pi okay upper limit negative lower limit is positive simply put t equals to 1 so 8 upon n square pi square as it is cos of n pi upon 2 okay because t is how much 1 so we have solved completely now yes now we will open this bracket okay so 2 into 2 that is 4 upon n pi sine of n pi upon 2 here we have 0 so remove this yes okay now we can say yes mm, yes here we have 4 upon yes 2 into 4 that is 8 upon n square pi square upon into cos of n pi upon 2 and here if you multiply 2 with this that is minus of 8 upon n square pi square and this value is how much 1 okay cos value cos is how much 1 so 2 into this that is minus 8 upon n square pi square okay now we will come to the this part that is minus 4 in, upon n pi sin n pi upon 2 as it is okay this is minus 1 minus 8 upon n square pi square cos of n pi plus 8 upon n square pi square into cos n pi by 2 as it is okay now here you can see 4 upon n pi 4 upon n pi negative positive sin n pi by 2 sin n pi by 2 this two term will get cancelled okay yes now we are left with uh, yes these two terms and these two terms okay yes so um, you can say that uh, okay one two three four yes so if you take common that is eight upon n square pi square okay because you can see eight upon n square pi square is common in this term this term this term and this term okay so we can take common this part that is eight upon n square pi square okay so here we are left with cos of n pi upon 2 here again we are left with cos of n pi upon 2 both are positive so we can write here twice of cos of n pi by 2 okay so twice of cos n pi by 2 okay yes this two part is over now in this part if you take this part common so you are left with only one okay so here we have one now coming to this part if you have taken common then we are left with minus of cos n pi and we know that cos of n pi is how much minus one power n okay yes negative is here cos of n pi n pi means minus one power n okay so we can say a n equals to 8 upon n square pi square into 2 into cos of n pi upon 2 minus 1 minus minus 1 power n okay this is the value of a n and we have already found what is the value of a naught that is 2 okay let me show you yes here we have a naught equals to 2 so we will go to the equation number 1 that is this part f of t equals to a naught upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos of n pi t upon 2 this is my equation number 1 and we have already found a naught a naught equals to how much 2 okay a naught equals to 2 and we have already found that is what is the value of a n that is this part okay this part is the value of a n okay so yes now we can say from equation number 1 we can say like f of t equals to a naught upon 2 okay that is 2 upon 2 will become 1 plus 8 upon pi square here summation n equals to into infinity 1 upon n square this whole part that is 2 into cos n pi upon 2 minus 1 minus of minus 1 power n into cos of n pi upon 2 okay this is the final half range cosine series for the function f of t okay yes thank you thank you so much